Boom. <laughs> Woohoo! Was that intro all about? Who knows what that intro was all about? But we have mere news on Big John Sutter. Alright, guys, and Heart of Midlovian will demand. I mean, Robbie Nielsen said it will take a significant offer for Big John, Big Match John, to leave Hearts in this windy. Well, it says here they're demanding a fee of 500,000 plus significant add-ons before letting John Sutter. I don't know what a significant add-on is. Is it, is it a, you know, is it a fish supper for TJ Fryers? I'm not 100% sure on that, right? But if it is, I think we should pay it. I think we should, honestly. It would, it would get him settled in for next season instead of having to worry about that in the summer when you, you know what I mean? I think, yeah. Considering we just got 16 million for Patterson, is wasting like a 16 for that on Sutter to bring him in now really like you know is it I think it's a good option you know I think it needs well I sound say it needs to be done but you know I I'd like to get it done you know and of course he's obviously signed the pre-contract so he is joining this but you know what this guy could be crucial in our fucking our Europa League could this guy defend Haaland you know I mean if we get any more injuries it could, we could be shafted in the league so I, I think it, I mean like think of it right you got the Haaland money you're going to get the money for the Champions League right if we win the league and you know you don't want to be looking back at the end of this season and be like oh fuck we really need a centre back and that would have got us over the line because then you'll be like why didn't we just pay that 500,000 for John Sutter you know and it's only 500,000 when you got sick. No, come on, even if we didn't sell Patterson, man. What's 500,000 to bring a player of his fucking quality in? You know? Injury prone or not, I mean, you know, he's a good fucking player to bring in, guys. But that's just my opinion on that. We'll dive through a bit more of the gossip here. Aberdeen have advised St. Johnson um, that they are going to open pre contract talks. So Sander Clark could be on his way here. The Aberdeen, Chris Wilder. Um, why why would he choose Middlesbrough over Celtic if it, if it wasn't for financial reason? You know, like, what? But that's embarrassing, like, if Middlesbrough can offer more money than Celtic. It really fucking is. Um, also, Martin Boyle looks like he's no leaving, potentially. Um, you know, Martin Boyle, he's valued at three... Um, you know what? Fair play to Hibs, right? They're actually fucking. They've held out in this, but they're not holding it in fucking uh, Nugget Cup himself. Or so you know what? No, no bad. Um, I mean, in terms of Rangers news, there's not an awful lot. Um, you know, but it says with Defoe, he terminated his contract as he found it hard to handle the lack of game time that he was experiencing, which I think's fair enough. You know what? He came in, he won a trophy, he'll take it. Um, but yeah. Also says here, Ranger striker um, could miss next month's old firm, old firm derby with Celtic as Colombian manager Ronaldo Ruda considers a recall for the 25-year-old. Hopefully not. Uh, <laughs> we we want Morelos to stay. We don't want. Well, I I want him to get called up to Colombia, but not not for the sake of this old firm. You know, um, we want we want our strongest team, obviously, um, and that that's about the bottom line there. Uh, and uh, unfinished business. Rangers want Sutter to join this month. That's it, guys. Sutter, 500,000 plus significant add on. So there you go, guys. Leave your thoughts down below. Till next fucking time. That's been the GW experience. And until then, peace, motherfucker. I said peace, yo.